So, this is the Blue Alpine. As it, as you can see, that's what it is. There's a Mini in the background. Um, Alpine A110, 1.8 turbo, 252 brake horsepower, uh, 0 to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Uh, looks the bomb, what's not to like? Um, so yeah, this is the 5th of March. It's a Wednesday, which is not my, no my normal day off. Uh, but basically, it's the first day I've had available to be able to give it a full Heath valet. So what I mean by that is I've just literally now um, washed it, soap and water hand wash, um, and then I've just dried it off. So now I've got some uh, clay bar treatment for it, some Maguire's clay bar, which I'm going to do next. And, um, and then once I've clay barred it, I'm going to wax it. And then I've got uh, a ceramic treatment to go over the top of it once it's been waxed. So, um, yeah, amazing little car, mid-engine rear drive. Uh, it's mostly made out of aluminium, so um, it's very, very light. So the power-to-weight ratio is extremely impressive compared to other larger, more expensive sports cars, shall we put it that way. Um, so it really appeals to me because it's a, a more uh, grown-up successor to what was the Lotus Elise that I had in 2007. Uh, seats are really comfortable. They're like a leather Alcantara on the inside, uh, centre console, um, semi-automatic gear shift, seven speed. Uh, it's got everything you need inside, so um, things such as sat-nav, and then you can pair your phone up for Apple uh, iPlay, um, uh, Apple CarPlay, um, so you can do your Spotify and everything. Climate control in there. I love the, uh, I haven't cleaned the inside yet, so uh, that's last. You've got the aluminium pedals and the aluminium footrest on the other side. Um, and as I say, these um, these amazing sports seats, which um, which are fantastic. So, um, so that is an early video of the Alpine. In Alpine Blue, it had to be the original Alpine Blue. Um, there are some other lovely colours available, but I thought, well, if I'm going to have one, I'll have one in Alpine Blue. And luckily, the dealer that uh, I ended up buying it from, albeit quite a few miles away down in Cambridge, sourced one for me and did me a really good deal. So here's to many more happy, trouble-free miles in the Alpine. But firstly, we're going to get it all detailed, cleaned up. Um, and polished up properly so that uh, it's ready for the road ahead. Right, okay, so now that the car is fully washed and dried, it is ready for clay barring. So the little soap-like bar of clay that you get with it has now been uh, manipulated to be about the size of your palm. Uh, the quick detailer, the mist goes on first, and then the soap is gradually rubbed in a circular motion into the uh, into the paintwork. And uh, this is the kit. So this is the pre-wax stage uh, where we apply the clay bar. So uh, that's uh, that's the next step. So after the preparation of each panel with the clay bar, and you turn it for each panel, make sure you then thoroughly wipe with the microfiber cloth. And it's designed to leave the paint, paintwork smooth and shiny to then apply your glass coat wax on the top. Um, it looks like it's working to me. Bonnet wings and roof done so far. Certainly, uh, certainly looks great. So we'll carry on. Right, so I've uh, just finished clay bar in the car. And um, if you don't mind a little bit of elbow grease, it's not... Not the same as really as doing a hard wax but if you look at the finish it's absolutely gorgeous um i used two of the three clay bars that were provided with the Maguire's pack used plenty of the solution to ensure uh, that there was always moisture on the car when rubbing it with the clay bar um turning it over for each panel and stretching it out a bit more um, so there's the finish. So I've got some uh, car wax to apply next. That will be the next job. And then once the car wax has been applied, I've got a ceramic coat to put on it. Um, provided, of course. Um, yeah. 
provided that it doesn't rain and then hopefully i can finish by uh, sorting out the interior so there you go there's another minute's worth of content and uh, it's a beautifully clean car but there's more work to do so wax on time plenty of wax on circular motion get in to it that'll do nicely Right, we have a wax coat applied to the car now. Um, just letting it cure for a few minutes. I've been right around the vehicle. Put plenty on. Everybody's got their own preferred wax that they put on the vehicle. I'm no exception. Right. As they say in the Karate Kid, it's time to wax off. Right, that took a little while to uh, take all the polish off, but we now have a highly polished Alpine waxed removed. So the next phase is to use the Meguiar's hybrid paint coating, which is supposed to last for about 12 months. You start with the M122 surface prep and leave it on and then uh, wipe it off after a minute of application and go around each panel at a time and then finally adding the hybrid paint coating and then wiping that off as well adding it with the white applicator taking it off with the microfiber so uh, we'll see how that ends up we've uh, we've got plenty of daylight left and then hopefully i might even get the interior done before we lose a bit of light okay so there it is so we have an alpine 110 that has been washed dried clay barred and then polished and then the addition of a ceramic coat that's taken me all day it's now just gone five o'clock um just approaching six hours on the car so that's it i've had enough i want my tea thank you